Chapter 21 On How We Are to Rest in God Above All Things Above all things and in all things rest my soul in the Lord your God, for He is the eternal rest of the angels and saints. O most loving Jesus, give me this special grace to rest in you above all created things, above all health and beauty, above all glory and honor, above all dignity and power, above all knowledge and prudence, above all riches and talents, above all joy and gladness, above all fame and praise, above all sweetness and consolation, above all hope and promise, above all merit and desire, above all gifts and rewards that you may give or send, except yourself, above all joy or happiness that the human mind and heart can grasp or feel, above angels and archangels, above all the heavenly hosts as well, above all things visible and invisible, and above all that is not you, my God. For you alone, O Lord God, are the greatest good. You alone are most high and most mighty. You alone are most sufficient and perfect. You alone are most sweet and consoling. You alone are most fair and loving. You alone are most noble and most glorious above all things. In you, all good things are found existing in all their perfection and have always been and always shall be. Therefore, nothing you give me besides yourself, anything you reveal or promise me concerning yourself, is all too little and insufficient for me, because my heart cannot rest nor fully be content until it rises above all your gifts and all you have created and rests in you. O Jesus Christ, most loving spouse, most pure lover, ruler of all creation, who will give me wings of perfect freedom to fly to you and in you to repose? When shall I be fully granted the perfect liberty to see how sweet you are, O Lord, my God? When shall I be so perfectly recollected in you as not to be aware of myself, but only you, above all the things of sense, in a way not known to all? But now how often I sigh and complain of the miseries of this life. I daily meet with many evils in the veil of miseries, which often trouble me, sadden me, and darken my way. They often hinder and distract me, lure and ensnare me, preventing me from going freely to you, from enjoying the sweet embrace always granted to your blessed spirit. Let my sighs and my desolations move your heart and incline you to hear me. O Jesus, light and brightness of eternal glory, the joy and consolation of all Christians who labor as pilgrims in this sinful world, no words can express the desires of my heart. But let my very silence speak to you and say, How long, O Lord, will you delay your coming? I trust that you will come soon to your poor servant. Make me joyful and deliver me from all my troubles. Come to me, dear Lord, for no day or hour is happy without you. You are all joy and gladness, and without you all is barren and empty. I am miserable and in a sense a prisoner in chains until you visit me with the light of your presence. Give me liberty of spirit and turn your friendly face toward me. Others may seek whatever they please, but there is nothing that pleases me, nor ever shall but you, my God, my hope and my eternal salvation. I will not remain silent, nor cease to pray until your grace returns to me and I hear you speak to my soul once more. Jesus says, Behold, I am here. I come to you, for you have called me. Your tears and the longing of your heart, your humility and contrition have moved me to answer your prayer. Lord, I called you, for I long for your presence and I am prepared to renounce all things for your sake. 
It was you who first moved me to seek you. Be you blessed, O Lord, for showing such goodness to me out of the abundance of your mercy. What more, O Lord, can I say in your presence? I can only humble myself before you, ever mindful of my own iniquities. There is none like you, O Lord, in heaven or on earth. Your works are good, your judgments are wise and true, and your providence governs all things. Praise and glory to you, O wisdom of the Father. Let my tongue, my soul, and all created things praise and bless you.